So taking a look at the steering menu now, we can see on this machine that we have a few steering options available to us also. Depending on the specification of machine or the way that our machine has been specced or as you, the customer, have chosen, your machine is either going to have a few options available. You can see here that the autopilot menu, so the automatics for the machine steering, have been turned on. If I don't want any of my automatics for steering, I can then turn this off. With the mode turned on, I can then select the sensor that I want to use for my GPS steering. So of these, you can see we have a few options available. Now, if my machine has not been specified with any GPS whatsoever, we will have selected the no sensor point. My first option available to myself is the field scanner or the laser pilot selection. So the field scanner being our laser sensor mounted on the top or inside the cab of the combine. This sensor is then looking to the left-hand side, the right-hand side, or the tramline detection. I also then have laser pilot option, which is our laser pilot bracket mounted on the left-hand side of the cutter bar, very similar to what we've had in previous years, a generation of Lexion. I then also have a sensing band selection. This is predominantly for the likes of people using maize cutter bars, so people direct cutting maize. Again, not that common in the UK, but available to us. We would then use a sensing band sensor based off the front of the cutter bar itself. And then finally, I have my GPS selection. So this is the sensor that we'll be using with people using the likes of RTK or any of our class sensing or GPS uh, technology. Finally, we have GPS, which is our readout, which will, people using our GPS signals will be selecting the likes of RTK or SATCOR. To select my available sensor, I click and it will tick the box and I can now see that my sensor has been selected. For the likes of field scanner and laser pilot adjustments, we can see that I have a centralizing switch. So this is determining where the actual scanner itself is looking. Is it looking over to the left or over to the right? I can offset that according to the way I want my crop to be cut. A very important point to make sure is that if we have a field scanner sensor selected, that we need to make sure our front attachment working width is correct. For example, if I have a 12.3 meter cutter bar, this needs to read 12.3 meters because that then it because this is then going to tell the sensor itself how far it needs to be looking to the edge of my cutter bar. So we need to ensure that this working width is correct for when using field scanner. I can also then set the sensitivity of my field scanner or laser pilot. If I feel like the scanner itself is being too reactive and making too many adjustments, I can turn the sensitivity down. Or if I feel like it needs to be more reactive, I can turn the sensitivity up. Be aware that with a very high sensitivity, the machine is going to be making adjustments very frequently, and this then can cause to the likes of very wavy crop cutting edge. Finally, if I have either field scanner or laser pilot, I need to ensure that my learning driving straight ahead is set. What this is going to do is that if my sensor, either of my sensors, be that my field scanner or my laser pilot, lose signal, i.e. they lose the edge of the crop and they cannot detect this, then I need to learn my straight ahead parameter, which is then going to tell my wheel angle sensors to drive straight so they can keep cutting straight until the new sensor or the new detection is found. To meet the learning straight ahead parameters, we can see these by pressing and holding on the button. The information is then displayed on the right hand side to the parameters we have to meet. We have to ensure that our cutter bar is raised up in the air. I find the best way to do this is to find a tram line of a stubble field or a flat yard and follow a line straight ahead in the straight angle. We are then going to click the learn driving straight ahead button, like so, and click start procedure. The procedure will then display all the different parameters that you need to met as you're doing it. 